What is up guys? UFC 202 is less than a month away. I'm very excited. This fight card is headlined by Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor 2. This is the rematch for the McGregor weight, the money weight championship. They fought before, Nate Diaz won in a very exciting fight in a second round submission. The first round, you know, McGregor, he looked like he blew his load, but he was landing some bombs on Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz was coming back with his own, but McGregor was, it looked like he was throwing everything he had in every shot trying to knock out Nate, and Nate wasn't having it, man. The only time I've ever seen Nate get TKO'd or KO'd was Josh Thompson landed a vicious head kick on him and dented his own shin on Nate Diaz's skull, and he wasn't even out. I mean... He was getting punched, and his brother actually threw the towel in on him, and it's going to take everything you got to knock out Nate Diaz, and the first fight, I mean, like I said, Conor McGregor, he blew his load in the first round, and Nate Diaz, he, you, this guy does not get tired. They do triathlons all the time, him and his brother, and I mean, they're going to go all five rounds with you, and they're going to come at you fast and hard through all five rounds. Nate Diaz, he's gotten bigger. They said now he's walking around about 200 pounds. His boxing is spectacular. His cardio is spectacular. He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu. I see this fight going no way other than how the first fight went. McGregor always has a chance. I'm not counting Conor McGregor out. You know, McGregor, he's, he's knocked out tons of guys. He knocked out... Jose Auto and it was 14 or 16 seconds but like I said Nate Diaz he's just a different beast he's too I think he's going to be too big for Conor McGregor we're going to see though it's a very exciting fight we'll just have to see let me also go on record I'm not a fan of this rematch right here the first fight was fun and games you know very big money match exciting fight this rematch Conor McGregor has a championship. He has a title in a very stacked division. He has put that division, they're all just waiting on him right now to get these money fights. I really wish, you know, I hope that Nate Diaz wins again just so there's not a trilogy. You know, if Conor McGregor wins, oh, what's who's to say that there's not going to have a Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz 3 to see, you know, the rubber match to see who takes it all. I just hope Diaz wins again, sends Conor McGregor back to the featherweight division. He defends his belt. Jose Aldo's there. Jose Aldo just looks spectacular against Frankie Edgar. I want to see the rematch of Jose Aldo versus Conor McGregor for the championship. I don't know. We will see, but... I am picking Nate Diaz. He is going to win by submission again. He's going to win by TKO. I think Nate Diaz can win this fight any way that it goes. He's just got to survive that first two-round onslaught by Conor McGregor. But Nate Diaz has taken home the victory in that fight. Now on to the co-main event of the evening, and it is the number two ranked light heavyweight in Anthony Johnson versus the number three ranked light heavyweight in Glover Teixeira. This is my favorite fight of the night. This is the two heaviest handed fighters in the light heavyweight division. I can only see this fight going one way and it is going to end. There's no way it's going to decision. Somebody is going to get TKO'd or KO'd. Both the guys, their last fights ended in devastating KOs. You know, Glover Teixeira knocked out Rashad Evans in his last fight and Anthony Johnson knocked out Ryan Bader in his last fight. Anthony Johnson, every strike he throws, he is trying to take your head off, and he will knock out, I believe, any human alive. Glover Teixeira, he's a little bit more technical of a striker, but he throws some bombs too. With that being said, I'm going to pick Anthony Johnson. Glover Teixeira, he is going to stand and trade with Anthony Johnson, and Anthony Johnson, all he has to do is land one big strike, and he is going to put you to sleep. You know, I'm not completely ruling out Glover Teixeira, but like I said, Anthony Johnson, man, he can knock anybody out at any time. All he's got to do is land one. The winner of this, I can only imagine they're going to go on and challenge Daniel Cormier for the light heavyweight championship. So I got Anthony Johnson. He's going to win by TKO, and he's going to go and try his hand 
for the second time for the UFC light heavyweight gold. Now the next fight of the night is a welterweight bout with Rick Story versus Donald Cowboy Cerrone. I love this matchup. Very intriguing fight. Now Donald Cerrone, he has just recently moved up from the lightweight division to the welterweight division. And he's won the first two welterweight fights he's had so far. And he is looking to crack into that welterweight top 10. Now Rick Story, he is the number 9 ranked uh, welterweight fighter in the UFC. Very intriguing fight, you know. Donald Cerrone, he's got great Muay Thai kickboxing. His submissions are very good. And Rick Story, he's a big guy. He's got a wrestling background. He's got very good striking of his own. And if I had to pick somebody, I will pick Rick Story to win this fight. You know, I think Rick Story is going to be a little bit too big for him. He's going to put a lot of pressure on Donald Cerrone. He throws a lot of body shots, and Donald Cerrone in the past has shown that he is not very good at taking body shots. You know, he has had a wreck before, and he's got a big scar on his stomach. You know, I don't know if that's the cause of it, but he does not take body shots very well. But like I said, I think Rick Story is going to win. I don't know if he's going to be able to finish Donald Cerrone. You know, it might just be a decision, but I will pick Rick, Rick Story to win this fight and move up in the welterweight division. Now the next fight of the night, it's another welterweight matchup, and it's Tim Means versus Sean Strickland. Tim Means was originally supposed to fight Donald Cerrone in the past, and he got kicked off that fight card because he, he tested positive for a banned substance. Now the thing with Tim Means, you know, he didn't go out there and just come in the media and say, oh, you know, I must have drank something wrong, it was my sex drugs, it was, you know, I must have breathed, you know, went somewhere and breathed some wrong air. He actually fought this and he sent USADA all the supplements that he was taking and they were all sealed in the box everything and one of the supplements tested positive for what he got busted for so USADA let him off easy you know he only got a six month suspension and now he's back I think he's going to come back he's going to win I'm going to pick him by TKO to win this fight now on to the Bantamweight division. There's a big matchup with Cody No Love Gambrant versus Takia Mizugaki. Takia Mizugaki, he's had an up and down career here in the UFC. You know, a lot of people know him for when he went and fought Dominic Cruz and Dominic Cruz's first bout when, you know, after he was out for so long and he lost by pretty devastating KO. Cody Gambrant, he's made a big name for himself here recently. He knocked out Thomas Almeida. He was on the Ultimate Fighter helping Uriah Faber, and he was trying to fight Conor McGregor on that show, taking up for his friend. But Cody Gumbrandt, he's like the next guy. You know, he's the big up and comer, and I think he's going to win by KO, and he's going to jump up in the bantamweight divisions. And I want to see him win this fight and get him a big fight. He's calling out everybody in the world, and I'm just ready to see what this guy's going to do. And, you know. He's going to win this fight, I believe, jump up in the top 10, and he's going to get a big name fight. Now, the last fight I want to talk about on this card is one that they just added. It's another welterweight matchup, and it is Neil Magny versus Lorenz Larkin. I believe this is the sleeper fight of the night. I'm very excited for this matchup. Lorenz Larkin is such a tough guy. I love to watch him go out and fight. No, Magny, he is ranked in the top 10 in the UFC welterweight division. He was on a big win streak, you know, I believe it was a seven fight win streak, and then he went out and fought Damian Maya, and of course he fought Damian Maya, so Damian Maya won by submission. After that, he's gone out, he's won three fights in a row, he got a huge TKO victory over Hector Lombard, and Man, he's just fighting Lorenz Larkin, though. Lorenz Larkin, he used to fight in the middleweight division, and, man, he's just looked spectacular since he's come down to the welterweight division. He's only lost one fight, and that was, to, that was a split decision against Albert Tumanov, and he's just coming off a, a victory over George Mastival. Big fighter. Man, this is a great matchup. These are two guys that are sleepers in the welterweight division. I'm going to pick Neil Magny, though. Neil Magny... His resume is just looking spectacular here recently. Him knocking out Hector Lombard, you know, that was just ridiculous. Not a lot of people saw it, but this is going to be a great fight. It's going to be a close fight, but I'm going to go with Neil Magny. But anyways, guys, I'm super excited for this fight card. 
huge fight card of the year. You know, a lot of people saying this is the real UFC 200. Like, this is going to be the biggest fight card of the year. It very well could be. Anyways, I'm like I said, I'm very excited. But, guys, I'm going to keep doing videos. I'm going to break down all these fight cards that's coming up. And if you want to keep seeing what's going on, please subscribe to my channel. And please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I want to hear your feedback and everything. But, anyways, guys, thanks.